Imagine if you're a three-time NBA champion, finals MVP, Hall of Famer, you play in the city of LA for the Lakers with the limelight, spotlight, everywhere you go, everyone knows who you are. How does someone like that deal with distractions? Here's James Worthy in a second part of his interview talking about distractions as well as the importance of having a mentor. Distractions are going to come, for sure, uh, particularly when you put yourself in an environment that is under the microscope 24-7. And in today's world, uh, with social media and tweeting and all the Instagram stuff, it's impossible. Because everywhere you go, whatever you do, if you go to a nightclub, it's going to be you know, something that's publicized. So while you're growing as a human being and you have all the challenges that every man and woman has in life, whether it's marriage, whether it's business, whether it's just growing as an individual, whether you have fears and anxiety that have been with you since you were eight years old and you bring them into your adult life, all those things aren't going to go away, regardless if whether you're a janitor or whether you're a school teacher or whether you're a professional athlete. They just manifest. And so you deal with it just like, you know, a politician would. Uh, there are obstacles and troubles that come your way. Uh, I know personally I've had uh, things that I've had to overcome. But you have to realize that you are a good person and that you can't be repetitive in your mistakes. And you have to be honest with yourself. That's one of the biggest things at this level is looking at the mirror and realizing that you're just a human being. And despite all the distractions, you don't get a pass because you're in a certain environment. You have to identify your distractions and, and try to eliminate them because they're gonna come. Whether it's your job, new contracts, divorce, girlfriend, women, drugs, alcohol, all the things that we experience as human beings are gonna be there. They're heightened when you get money and when you're in an environment of unrealistic fantasies. And that's where you need to have a good family structure and a good mentor. And you have to listen to people. I was fortunate enough to have Jerry West around him, Coach Smith. And my parents were excellent. But you have to, to find somebody that's been there and someone you can trust because you're going to have, you know, you're going to come to an impasse sometime in life. And uh, it's just a matter, are you willing to, to listen or are you going to try to be that lone wolf? And there are good mentors. Anybody out there that say they can't find a mentor, they're not telling the truth. Because mentors tell you the truth and it hurts. And when it hurts and when you, it gets under your skin a little bit, you found a mentor.